Hello friends and welcome back to the Whole by Callie channel. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. I'm really excited to have today's conversation with you. Oops, got something in my lip. And just be open, be honest, share with you where I'm at. If you follow me over on Instagram, you might have heard me talk about how much of a challenging week last week was for me. And I just want to share a little bit about it and share some discoveries and some breakthroughs that I had from that experience. And then we're going to get into it just a tiny bit more. So thank you for being here. If you are new, hello and welcome. My name is Callie Kleinschmidt. I am a mindset and manifestation coach and I have new videos every single Monday and Wednesday. Same with podcasts every single Wednesday. I talk about all things around mindset, spirituality, manifestation, personal development, healthy eating, clean living, all of that. It's such a fun time over here. So make sure to subscribe to me on all platforms. It's on, I'm on all platforms at Whole by Cali. So check it out. It's a fun time. And I'm so grateful that you are here. Okay. So you guys, I spiraled. Last week was truthfully the hardest week of my entire life. It was one thing after the next and so many things piled up on top of each other. I was crying for hours and hours on end every single day and I was having a really hard time seeing it through. I felt like the world was out to get me, everything was against me, and I just felt completely lost in every sense of the, my being. I felt lost and I won't get into like the why this happened quite yet. I want to keep that private for the time being but maybe I'll share that later on. And because of that thing, it really did just spiral. It started with one thing, then led to the next, and led to the next, and it just led me to questioning my whole life and just feeling super defeated, feeling like I didn't have a purpose, feeling like I was going nowhere, feeling like what I'm doing now is just not it. And truthfully, like during that time, I wanted to just give it all up. I thought that whole white Cali wasn't it for me. I thought that I needed to stop doing this. I was feeling super insecure in my body and in my skin and just like a plethora of things. I was really just going through it and I just allowed myself to do it. I allowed myself to feel those emotions, to have those ex experiences, to have those thoughts because I knew it wasn't going to last forever. And for me, the healthiest thing to do is to express those emotions, is to express those thoughts. Because if we bottle things up, we are doing ourselves a disservice because when we bottle those things up, we are repressing them. And if we don't work through them now, they're going to pop up and express themselves later on in different ways. It could be body elements, it could be anxiety, depression, it could be a number of things. So the healthiest thing to do, at least for me and the clients that I work with, is to express and release those emotions in a healthy way. And for me, a big thing is crying. Crying, rage dancing, meditating, tapping, journaling, uh, walking. Those are all resources that I come back to time and time again. So really, it just took a lot of nurturing myself, crying, and telling Frankie how I was feeling, talking to him, cr literally calling everyone and crying and just experience or sharing the experience of what I was going through and just getting comfort from them, soothing from them too. And yes, like it's important to get that from yourself too, but sometimes it's just nice to share with others what you are going through and have them be there for you. And I told Frankie a few times, I was like, I'm really going through it. I just need you to be gentle with me and understand where I'm coming from and just support me through it. Yesterday was Saturday and Saturday was the first day I was starting to finally feel better. I was finally starting to see my situation through because during the week I could not. I could not see it through. I felt like I was going to be in that state of mind forever. Even though I knew I wasn't going to be, in that moment it felt like I was. It felt like this was just how my life was going to continue to be and my world was just crumbling down. So yesterday I woke up with the intent that today is going to be a good day. I wrote down in my journal, I want to laugh, I want to smile, I want to love, I want to hug and just be jolly like you know what I mean just be happy and find joyful moments and that's exactly what I did and it brought me a lot of peace and clarity and then another thing I did too was I used my tools and resources like I just shared and one of the things that I did was I worked through one of the MBA modules the Manifestation Babe Academy modules that I knew was really going to help me it was all about limiting beliefs and 
that was truly my saving grace and working through that journaling and just like sitting with my thoughts really helped me to realize that everything that happened last week had to have happened for me it had to have happened for me to understand the lessons i needed to learn the downloads i needed to receive to remind myself to continue to put myself first my emotions my needs my responsibilities first and not be a people pleaser and really just coming back to my true self reminding me what i am passionate about because last week i wanted to quit whole by cali i felt like a failure i felt like it was going nowhere i felt like no one cared about what i was doing i felt really defeated i was extremely sad i was lost i felt like this isn't my life's purpose anymore but i know that it is 100 percent without a doubt every ounce of my being knows that it is but last week it was really just getting to me and my ego was winning and telling me that i needed to quit and sorry if you can hear licking in the background <laughs> it's our dog and i just surrendered in that moment i was like you know what yeah these things had to have happened to me i am learning lessons even though they're not fun they're things i needed to learn they're things i need to prioritize for myself and that was a really great feeling like when i figured that out it was just like oh duh like aha like it truly was an aha moment it felt like things just okay yeah i get it now i truly get it i understand why those happened and another thing i forgot to mention too that i did as a tool for me i communicated with my spirit squad i might you could call them angels spirit squad um uh, higher self like whatever you want to call them i communicated with them and i was just on a walk and i listened to meditation music and i just like cried and i had a conversation with them in my head and i just said like you need to help me here because that's one thing our spirit squad cannot intervene and cannot help us until we ask them to and give them permission to and i just was like having a rant conversation in my head like what am i doing wrong you know like i let it all out and that was truthfully like a really good release for me that felt really comforting that knowing that i can do that so that was one thing that i did do that helped me but working through all of this really just is a great reminder to prioritize yourself to prioritize your mental health to prioritize your mindset your personal development your self-growth to invest in a coach and resources to come back to time and time again so you can work through these things with someone else and yourself because had i not invested in the manifestation baby academy i wouldn't have had those tools that i used to journal through it to help me realize what i needed to learn and same goes for so many other things in life too when we take the time to actually work on ourselves to better ourselves we can see things through we can do hard things we can learn the lessons we need to learn to create a better outcome for ourselves we can stay connected to our higher self we can stay connected to our purpose to where we're meant to be going to notice when our ego pops up versus our higher self and just to keep coming back to our true selves to stay in alignment with who we are and where we are meant to be going and i'm so proud of myself for that and i'm so glad that that happened to me because now i feel stronger i feel deeply connected to myself and i know i feel re really in alignment with where i'm going with what i'm doing i still have a little bit of confusion around some things but i know that clarity will come with time and i will continue to work through things another thing is too i asked for a sign from the universe and i never got it but i got an inner sense of knowing and reassurance and confirmation that i was doing the right thing and that alone is such a powerful thing because yes it's so great and fun and cool thing to do to ask the universe for a sign as confirmation uh, or re, re yeah confirmation or reaffirmation on something but you can also do that within yourself too because i asked for that sign and then the next day i knew without a shadow of the doubt that yes this is something i needed to do and again it's something i might bring up later on i'm not ready to discuss it now but and it just felt good i felt settled in my decision i was a little bummed i didn't see the sign initially but then as i sat with it and thought for a while i was like you know what this is my sign like my gut is telling me what i need to be doing so that's another reminder too to not always place validation on external things we can find internal confirmation and validation within ourselves too because we have an inner sense of knowing we have our gut we have our intuition our higher self that we can all connect with and personally i think that that is a greater sense of confirmation than something external too because what is more powerful than knowing that you are doing the right thing when you have that feeling within yourself like that is such a powerful and strong feeling so 
I just I thought that was really cool take away from that experience for myself too but this is just a reminder as well that we can do hard things we can see hard things through and I know it feels like that's not true or possible in the moment because that's how I felt truthfully but it is true if you are willing to take action to work on yourself to get the help that you need whether it's not just mindset related whether it's something else related because again i'm not a therapist or a doctor by any means but it's just a reminder that we can do hard things we can see things through it might take time it might take practice and taking action and doing different things figuring it out you know testing things out but we will get there and that is such a beautiful lesson I needed to learn because this whole year I was feeling a little bummed. I was feeling a little bummed about 2023 and how it's gone for me so far because it just feels like I've been knocked down time and time again and one thing's been coming up right after the next and I've just felt defeated. Truthfully, I am exhausted and I'm just ready to surrender. Like this whole year I was channeling the energy of lucky girl syndrome, but now and I and now I am again, but during these last few months, I really wasn't. I was not channeling lucky girl syndrome. I was just trying to survive. I was trying to get through it. And like I said, it was just one thing after the next. And I think it was a combination of adding all of those things up to that moment of last week where I was just a spiral, where it just all came crashing down. And now I feel more optimistic. I feel more comfortable and confident with where I'm going. I have a better outlook on the future the next few months and just reminding myself that everything does always work out in the end 100 percent things happen for a reason and it does always work out and the things that happen to us have had to have happened so we can get those lessons so we can get those downloads so we can move through life with a greater sense of knowing and self-connection and confidence and i'm actually so thankful i am so incredibly thankful that last week happened to me and i know that sounds weird and i know that sounds a little like why why would i be thankful that i had the hardest week of my life last week but i'm glad that it did because like i'm sharing with you i had so many revelations and downloads and i feel a greater sense of clarity on what i need to do and i am thankful for that and now i feel confident that the things i'm working through are going to be okay everything's going to work out exactly as it's meant to even though there's still gray areas even though it still feels a little chaotic and messy it's all going to be okay it's going to be okay <sighs> yeah so that's a little life catch up friends i know i'm still being a little vague or vague however you say that so apologies there i will be more open and transparent with that when i am ready and things are you know in a good place and i feel ready to talk about them but i hope that this little chat helped you and i also just want to remind you no one else is going to understand your dreams and desires for yourself as much as you are other people aren't going to understand your dreams and desires as much as you are you have to be your biggest cheerleader you have to be the one rooting for you coming back to your truth no matter what and i do want to remind you it is important to cheer other people on tell your friend how proud you are of what they're doing remind your siblings of how proud you are for all the things that they're working towards and have accomplished celebrate other people's success and progress towards their dreams don't forget that and don't forget to do that for yourself too. And if you see someone doing something new and different, with, whether that's on the internet or in person, say congratulations, cheer them on, say nice job, condone them for trying something new, for doing something different. Because I think that's the thing that I've had the hardest time with is not finding validation in other people's you know, comments or how many views I've been getting on a YouTube video or how many streams I've been getting on a podcast or how many people liked my TikTok video. I've been having a hard time with that truthfully and I have to remind myself that it's not about the other person. Well, yes, I'm here to help people and that's my goal. It's also about me living out my purpose and I have to keep coming back to that. But it's also a good reminder and I'm not saying this for myself selfishly, like you don't have to go commenting on, on all my stuff, but it's also a good reminder to just keep showing up for the people in your life and just giving them the acknowledgement 
the words of encouragement that everyone deserves, but also remind yourself that no one else is gonna get it as much as you do for yourself. And I see you, sis. It's a lot of work, it's a lot of, you know, commitment and dedication to keep showing up for your dreams, to keep showing up for your desires, even when it feels like you are so tremendously far away from them. Even when it feels like they might not come true, which they will, they always will, it might take time, it might look a little different than what you expected, they will come true. And to remember to keep coming back to yourself and finding your inner sense of validation and not finding it in other people and other things. And that was a really big lesson I had to learn last week. And truthfully, it's a lesson I have to keep reminding myself. It pops up like every few months. And it's a hard lesson. It's hard to remind yourself that. It's hard to not compare yourself to others. It's hard to not look at the numbers and judge yourself. It's hard to wish you were in a different place and feel envious of other people who are. I get it 1,000 million bajillion percent. Like, so hard. But it's a good reminder to keep coming back to yourself, keep coming back to your self-love and your self-worth. And with that, friends, I see you, I hear you, I believe in you, I am here for you. And I know that whatever dreams you are chasing and working towards are meant for you. Oh, I just got butterflies in my stomach, friends. Like, it's so true. All of our dreams are already ours. And with that, I'm sending you so much love, so much light. I hope everyone has a fantastic day wherever you are. I'm sending you so much love, so many hugs, so much, so many big blessings in your life. And I'm rooting for you as always. Please subscribe if you are new here. And again, you can find me on all platforms at Hope by Callie. All right, friends, I love you so very much. I will be back next week. And don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and also share it with a friend or family member who you think might enjoy this topic. All right, love you. Bye. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive.